Would you pray with me? Yes. God, it is so good to be here to know that we do, don't come to the garden alone. We don't tarry alone. We don't walk alone. You are always with us by our side. Mm -hmm. And I thank you that you have invited us to a party to beat all parties called the kingdom of heaven. And I thank you for that. And I praise you for inviting us into this gory story, and yet it is sandwiched by so much hope. Be present now, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Speaking of birthday parties, I heard about two birds. And... They were having a little Twitter chat, and the bird, one bird said, I'm going to a human birthday party. He's going to be 30 years old. The other bird said, how old is that in bird years? <laughs> First bird said, dead. <laughs> so we have a birthday party where somebody ends up dead. And I don't love it, and this is not a passage of scripture that I've ever actually heard any person preach on, yeah. and it's also not a passage of scripture that any commentator I dared to read suggested <laughs> preaching on. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to preach on that, and God said, try again. Uh, I don't think I want to do, Jane, there's something here. Yeah, but, but I, it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It is. If we were going to put this this little ditty to music and do a musical, we could start out with a tale as old as time. Mm -hmm. Not a fairy tale, but a fury, fearful tale. A tale of <laughs> lust and greed and anger and violence and revenge. We could also throw in, she's a dancing queen and 17, <laughs> except she wasn't a queen because she wasn't even a princess, because Herod wasn't even a king and he wasn't even her dad. Mm -hmm. So forget that song. And we could also sing, um, well, the king then chimes in, Herod chimes in with, it's my party, and I'll kill if I want to. And I think, no, I don't want to go to this party, don't want to talk about this party, don't want to preach about this party. And yet, it is, I wanted to include the before and after this party. It's the only, one of the very few places in the Gospels where there's a flashback. Where they actually go backwards and say, this is what happened, remember? And then you've got your context. And the context is really, as always, so important here. Um, we've got this, this picture, really, of two kingdoms. It is a tale of two cities. A tale of two kingdoms. And being a good southern girl, I looked up birthday party rules. <laughs> bothered Amy Vanderbilt and Emily Post for just a minute and all of their protocol rules, Herod broke every single <laughs> one. So rather than go through all the compare and contrast, basically I think we could have a whole bunch of don'ts and maybe one do. The don'ts would be like, don't lose your heart. Don't lose your head. <laughs> sure. Um, don't kill. Don't have a dance contest. And don't forget. Don't forget what? Well, that's the do. Do remember. Remember. Remember there are two kingdoms. The kingdom, the power, and the glory. That's where comparison contrast comes in. Because what we have here is the kingdom of Herod and the kingdom that Jesus brings. A king, 
King Herod wasn't a king. I don't know why they called him king. He wanted to be king. Rome would never allow him to be king. He was basically your mayor. <laughs> and when he offers to give away half his kingdom, he doesn't own a kingdom. So what's he going to give her? Half his shoes? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have a kingdom. And that kingdom will end. He was actually exiled eventually. And it never got any better with the Herods. Mm. And then we have Jesus <clears throat> who comes and says, the kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of heaven is on earth. And then he goes so far as to say, the kingdom of heaven is in you. The kingdom of heaven is in you. Herod's kingdom ended. Jesus never will end. And the power, John had some power. He had the power of righteousness. It landed him in prison in chains. Herod wanted power and it showed up as lust and greed and anger and revenge and violence. And Jesus came in power. He came in power. But he didn't hoard the power. He started throwing it around lavishly for people. And in that beginning verse from Mark, we've got him giving power to the disciples so that they can go out and preach urgently that radically, that life can be radically different. And they had the power to heal and to raise the dead and to kick out demons. That's power. That's power that we, that we are given to. The kingdom, the power, and the glory. I, I, I hear this Herod person being all, he wants glory. He wants you to love him. That's one of his rules. Come and make me feel good. Make me look good. Sing my praises. When Jesus came, he didn't need anybody to tell him he had glory because he showed glory. He was the exact representation of glory from heaven. And then he just spread glory wherever he went. This morning, on the balcony, the sun wanted to come up, but the clouds were having none of it. <laughs> and I, I just sort of glanced out and went, nope, no sunrise over there. And then I went, ah, out west, there's this dusting of pink in the real high, dark clouds. And I thought, that's reflected glory. That's what we get to do, is we get to reflect glory. So why the sandwiching of this gory story amongst, uh, around this truth about what Jesus came to do and give? Because we still have two kingdoms to choose from every single day. Every day, we can throw, we, we, there's a party thrown, and we can choose which party we want to go to. I see, um, I see myself going to the wrong party. Mm -hmm. The Herod syndrome, Herod heritage, Herod legacy story. Every time I pick up my phone to just check and see if anybody likes me, I'll just see if anybody sent me a message. I'll just see if there's any 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 emails I really need to answer. But there, nobody likes me. I don't get any of those. And so, what do I do since I have my phone? Oh, I do some doom scrolling. Then I can get mad, then I can get angry, then I can feel violent, then I can wish for bad. 
I don't want to throw that party in my head any more. Amen. 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 I'm not going to give that party any more power in my head or my soul. I, I think we get to throw our own party every single day. That's why we get birthday candles today, because we're having our own party. Because every single day we get to invite people into a party with joyful urgency because life can be radically different. It really can be radically different. And who's going to tell them if it's not us? Who's going to see it if we don't show them? One of my, um, one of my favorite throw-a-party people is Thistle Farms in Nashville. And they they take the party to the streets. They they fill hygiene gift bags for women who have been forced onto the streets and are homeless and are forced into trafficking. And they start a relationship with these people. They give them cards, they come back, they see them again. And one of these women went to prison and nobody knew her, nobody cared. Her family was gone. She didn't have anybody except she had these people. She called them collect, which is the only way you can call from prison. They took her calls. They wrote her letters. And when she was free from prison, they're outside waiting for her. And they brought her in. And they gave her a home. And they helped her heal from the trauma of the life she'd been forced into. And now she's the... Uh, the head of a product line for the Farms, and she just bought her own home. That's a party we can attend. That's a party we can throw. When my friend Andrea turned a certain special age, her daughter wanted to throw her a party, and Andrea said, nah, mm -mm, nah. oh yeah, we're throwing you a party. Yeah. <laughs> the only gifts that are allowed are gifts for the food pantry. Mm -hmm. And the picture that I have of her, she is radiant. She is radiant. And she has a crown on her head. And there are all these balloons. And there are bags and boxes and bins of groceries for the food pantry. Cool. We can throw that kind of party. We can. Our babies have every year a birthday serve day. So that on their birthday, they tithe. And so if, if they will tithe their money to an organization and buy goods for them, Mama and Papa will match their tithe. Mm -hmm. And so we get pictures of them with shopping carts going down the aisle, loading those carts up, and then the next screen will be the kids at this party they're throwing at the orphanage or at this place for, for mothers who need a place to live. That is cool. Mm -hmm. On birthday serve day, we get Sorry. to throw our own, a party every single day. I don't want to go to the party where people lose their heads. I want to go to the party where the demons are sent to the shed and we can rest our weary heads and the, de the people are raised from the dead and the hungry are fed. Amen. Can you say that again? I want to go to the party where the demons are sent to the shed, where people are raised from the dead, where we can rest our weary heads, and the hungry are fed.
Amen. 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 That's the message in Psalm 5 says, God, you wait with open arms, people who run to you mm -hmm. for cover. Let the party last all night. Stand guard over our celebration because you are famous for welcoming God's seekers, for decking us out in delight. That's a party I'm going to go to. And the invitation's open. Want to come? Amen. 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 Bring a friend. Let's throw a party. God, we are we are honored to be part of a kingdom that doesn't end. We are astounded that we get to be decked out in delight at this party every single day. Help us throw the party that invites people in. Was throw a party so people know they're loved. Help us celebrate the love that you send us. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 As we, um, as you wait for just a minute, I'd like for you to take a couple of minutes. Think about the party you're going to throw in your head or the party you're going to throw on the streets. And then when you've got a thought about that, come up and take one of these candles and light a candle. Just make a birthday wish so that we can start the party now. <laughs> 